3D Snoopy Charm Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a Snoopy Charm for a charm bracelet, or you could also make two of these and turn them into earrings as well, that would work out perfectly fine. My This is for my sister's charm bracelet that I gave her for Christmas, and I have a nephew who is Snoopy obsessed. He loves Snoopy anything. Actually, it started out just Snoopy, but now it's peanuts anything so charlie brown lucy the whole gang and so i knew that when i was making my sister's bracelet that this would definitely have to be a charm that i needed to incorporate and if you love snoopy as much as he does then i've also done a christmas snoopy as well as a natural nail snoopy design and i'll put links to those in the description box below so check those out and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future charm videos and my other videos as well so to begin with, I'm just going to fill in the center of this charm pendant base thing that I have with some of really bright blue acrylic, it doesn't take very much, and then apply a layer of gel sealer over the top of that and cure it. So that's all I did to create the background. So then to start sculpting up my Snoopy, I used white acrylic, surprise, surprise, white dog, white acrylic, shocking. Um, and so I just took and I started with the back of his head with a single bead and then I'm just gonna pretty much make a nice circle out of that and then I'm going to be adding another smaller circle to the front of his face and then blend the two together just so it kind of creates a peanut shape that's on its side. So the one, the area where like the main section of his head is, is a little bit larger and then it just sort of curves down and around his snout area. So then once those are pretty much smooth together pretty well, I mean it doesn't have to be perfect, there's going to be more acrylic on top of that, but I'm just going to take and smooth that top area out just a little bit further because there was still like a little division between the two sections of his head. So have that a little bit more smooth and I'm going to take another bead about the same size as the one I used for his snout and then I'm going to be adding his little body so it's just a nice soft triangle. And the point of the triangle where his neck is, is about in the middle of his head, if that helps at all. So then I'm going to be adding another bead to his muzzle area, but this one not quite as far out as the other one because he's got like this little line that goes up right on, or right from the bottom of his nose. And so you want to kind of make that a little bit with acrylic, just a little teeny tiny indent. And as you can see, I did add some more, but that's also going to add just like a little indent in the bottom of his muzzled as well just to kind of give that appearance and then add a little bit more to the back of his head you want his head to be thicker acrylic than his body and as you can see then i'm just touching up that little line that'll come down from his nose in a moment once i start painting because his nose i'm just going to paint i'm not going to make that with acrylic and then i'm also going to be adding his ear his ear is definitely the smallest of the white beads probably about a third of the size of say his body and then just make sure that that's got a nice sharp edge on the side closest to his head but then it kind of blends up the back just like that yep pretty easy i have like i said i've done so much snoopy stuff for my nephew that sculpting a snoopy is kind of second nature to me now i have them all i have it really worked out well and i can probably draw them in my sleep too um so then i'm going to with yellow make my little woodstock and it's pretty much just woodstock's head because his body is wrapped up in snoopy's arms and so lay down the bead for his head and then add a little bit more wet acrylic to the back of his head and then with the tip of your brush just pull it out because he's got all of those wild feathers on the back of his head and so if you just sort of pull that out into little bits, then you're going to get that appearance. And if a little bit of the blue shows through, that's good because like I said, they're not, it's not solid feathers back there. They're just sort of wild or wispy. And then I'm going to be adding Snoopy's arms that I mentioned that are holding woodstock. So you're going to take two more beads that are about the same size as the ear this time. And then just layer those right underneath woodstock's head. So it looks like he's getting hugged. So there's the other paw. That other paw is a lot smaller because he's turned ever so slightly to the side. So you see a whole arm on one side, but then just a little bit of the arm on the other side. So then with slightly diluted black paint, I'm going to be doing all of the details. And so when you're doing this, it's hard to say where you're going to have luck starting with. I just sort of figure out a spot and then continue building out from there. So I started with Snoopy's smile, but then I ran into Woodstock's hair or head feathers so I went with those instead and then I just finished Woodstock adding his eyes with just two little slits and then I'm going to go back through and start working on my Snoopy again finishing outlining him and then I'm going to be outlining his ear and with Snoopy's ear 
it looks like he's got a solid black ear but it's still got this little white outline and that's why I sculpted that with white acrylic instead of black and so I'm just gonna fill that in with black paint but I'm gonna make it look a little like it's scribbled in not like it's a solid black so just with a whole bunch of crazy looking little lines in there fill that in mostly because that'll give it that cartoony newspaper look and then add his nose and then his eyes the same thing like he's got his eyes closed and like he's really enjoying this hug and then add his eyebrows just like that and then the last thing is just to outline his body which is pretty much at this point just his arms so after I've got those highlighted now I did not apply a layer of top coat and normally if this was on a nail I would apply matte top coat over the 3d guys so Snoopy and Woodstock just to protect it from when you're washing your hands and taking a shower but since this is on a charm bracelet I'm not too worried about it getting dissolved off and so I didn't add the layer of top coat and so but if you're doing this on a nail definitely do because that's going to give your nail art some longevity so I hope you like this and share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you in my next video bye